And by Delta Airlines, because geography is important for kids everywhere. Delta Airlines, you'll love the way we fly. Local broadcast of Where in the World is Carmen San Diego is made possible in part by... All these people want to know. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego by... And one of these gumshoes could find her. He collects sports cards and has more than 2,000 of them in his collection. Meet Paul Wright. She's traveled to New Orleans where she enjoyed the food, music, festivals, and Bourbon Street. Meet Ivy Weinberg. He speaks Spanish and Haitian Creole and likes playing sports and video games. Meet Sinley Bunny. And here's Ethne, senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Fred Lee. Hey, good to see you. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you very much. How you guys doing? Is it Stanley? Is that how I say it? Good to see you. Ivy and Paul, good to see you guys. Hey, they're with me every day. Rockabella. Oh, yeah. So it's better all the time. And you guys know that one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America. And that is not bad. So let's get things started. Chief, who are we after? This is the Contessa. Contessa. Carmen San Diego's high class, high crime heist committer. Her last known whereabouts? Natchez, Mississippi. While many of the South's grand homes were destroyed during the Civil War, dozens of mansions around Natchez survived. So, in 1932, the Natchez Garden Club hosted the first spring pilgrimage to these homes. Twice each year, pre-Civil War estates are open to the public. Women in 19th century dress greet tourists who come for an up-close look at an era gone by, an era of luxury and slavery. But today, those mansions got mooched when the Contessa decided to shoot the breeze. <laughs> Gumshoe, that swell-smelling felon is intent on selling the dwellings. <laughs> You've got to stop her and solve today's crime. <laughs> Crook snatches Natchez. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, we're at the Contessa trying to get back to houses. To help you do that, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, as you know, we will give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? So let's get started now with our very first clue, which comes to us from the Acme Crime Net computer right over here. All right, we will just turn this baby on here. Check it out. It's a great big baseball card. Roberto Clemente, uh, played for the Pittsburgh Pirates, 317 batting average, 12 Golden Glove awards. I'm telling you, this was quite a guy. And you know what? I'll bet Contessa's on the islands where Clemente grew up. It's between Hispaniola and the U.S. Virgin Islands. A new recreation area was built in Clemente's hometown to honor him. See, he wasn't just a great ball player. He was also a great humanitarian who died while flying in to help earthquake victims in Central America. Quite an amazing guy, okay? Gumshoes, name the island. Is it Trinidad, Trinidad, Curacao, or Puerto Rico? Remember the clues that we heard. Between Hispaniola and U.S. Virgin Islands was home to, of uh, Roberto Clemente, and new recreation center honors him. Come up with an answer as quick as you can, guys. Trying to find Contessa and the houses. Paul is ready. Sinley is ready. Ivy is ready. So you get a handle there. Sinley, what do you say? I said Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Ivy. I said Trinidad. Trinidad. Paul. I said Trinidad. Trinidad. The answer looking for is Puerto Rico. Nice job, Stanley. <laughs> All right, Trevor Stanley goes up to 60. Ivy and Paul, you stay at 50 Acme Crime Books, but hey, we got a lot of case yet to solve. Nothing to worry about. So, for our next clue, wait a minute. Hold it a second. Wait a minute. <gasps> I just flew in from the National Championship Air Races. Contessas in the western Nevada City where they're held each year. All kinds of propeller airplanes compete in the world's fastest motorsport. And planes called Unlimiteds draw the biggest crowds. Unlimiteds are souped up and sleek down any way possible, hitting speeds close to 500 miles an hour. You know, flies hold flying competitions too. And Gregory, I'm the swatter dodging champion. Uh, 
One day, I'm gonna get you, man. I will get him. Not to get too emotional about it, but you understand it means a lot to me. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Reno, St. George, or Montello? Remember the clues that we heard? City in Western Nevada and National Championship Air Races. Paul is ready. So is Ivy. So is Sinley. These guys are ready now. Sinley, what do you say? I said Reno. Reno. Ivy. I said Reno. Reno. Paul. I said Reno. Everybody said Reno. Everybody is right. Hello. And for those of you at home, all of you know that our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. <laughs> Very good. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay, Gumshoes, for our next clue, we turn to our, to our informants from Acme Chiffon Net. Here are the Acmets. Contessa took the houses. Is it Panama, the United States, or Canada? Remember the clues that we heard. U.S. dollar is legal tender. Flag is red, white, and blue. Two great oceans lap its shores and population of 2.5 million. Everybody's ready. Stanley, we start with you. What do you say, bud? I said Panama. Panama. Ivy. I said United States. United States. Paul. I said United States. United States. The answer we're looking for is Panama. Nice job, Stanley. So that means suddenly goes to 80. I was at 60. Paul is, is at 60 as well. Now, guys, comes for my, comes for my. Now it's time. You know what it is. It's a lightning round. Go, go, go. All of these questions are about contestants' most recent known whereabouts, which is Panama. Give you five Acme Crime Books every time you answer a question correctly. So, hands on the buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Oh, wait. I need this for this. Hold on. Check me out. Okay. See this? This next question will be about this hat. <clears throat> America's working on the Panama Canal saw these hats made from woven tokia palm leaves on local workers. The Americans called them Panama hats, but they were really made somewhere else. Was it Ecuador, Finland, or Vatican City? Paul? Ecuador. Uh, Ecuador's right. Nice job. Five for you. Good. Next question. Panama was once a thriving Spanish territory. Its ports were used to ship New World treasures back to Spain. Name the treasure. Jewels of the Nile, gold from the Incas, or primitive Nintendo games. <laughs> Ivy? Gold from the Incas. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Okay, so 65. Here's the last question. Panama is bordered by only two countries, and both begin with the letter C. Name one of them. Ivy? Costa Rica. Is right. Nice job. The other one's Colombia. That means that, you know, lightning round suddenly has 70, I, I'm sorry, suddenly has 80, Ivy 70, Paul 65, Acme Crime Bucks. Now it is time for us to... Okay, Chief, just hold on a second. You know, I can understand what she was saying because I know what she's saying. Be right back. You, mm, Chief. Okay, you, you got a jar of taffy, right? You took a piece out, you put it in your mouth, and now you can't get your mouth open. Ah, no problem. Let me give you your hand, your buddy. All right. Gee, this is not working. Uh, I'll tell you what, hold on to something sturdy. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, what? Come on. It's the best I can do on short notice. Besides that, it's electric. All right. Put it in there. Just pop it. Yeah. Have you, done the, have you done the contest yet, Chief? All right, I'll take care of it. If you want to win, write down what got stolen and from where every time you watch the show. When you've collected four listed locations, 
Put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. <laughs> Uh, she let me handle it. Let me get it. Every day we'll pick five people who's listed correct and send them each a Karma T-shirt. Here are today's winners. Congratulations to the winners. Ah, uh, what? Uh, uh. Oh yeah, I agree. It didn't work. It. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. Now I think we got something. No, this is gonna, no, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Th no! Oh! Got your mouth oh, open, didn't oh, it? Greg, well, uh, it have got some caffeine. I don't like that. Eat. Now leave. Mm. 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 Contessa, I'm sending you to Maryland. So hop the next flight to West Africa. Carmen, make up your mind. Do I book first class for Maryland or for West Africa? You're going to Maryland County in a West African country. The country's name is taken from the Latin word for free. Maryland County? In Africa? I don't understand. The county was founded in the 1830s by the Maryland State Colonization Society. This U.S. group returned freed black slaves to their homeland. Carmen, dear, I hate these confusing trips. The airlines always lose my luggage. Oh, I know the feeling. Okay, guys, name the country where Contessa took the houses. Is it Algeria, Liberia, or Burkina Faso? Remember the clues that we heard. Country in Western Africa. Name taken from Latin word meaning free and Maryland County. Everybody's ready. Stanley, we start with you. What do you say? I said Liberia. Liberia, Ivy. I said Liberia. Same thing, Paul. I said Liberia. Everybody's in agreement here, and everybody is right again. Thank you. Okay, gumshoes, for our next clue, we put together a little something from the lab that I... Guys, whenever I hear that noise, I think of a time when cheese was cheese and detectives were black and white. Bam. What's the word? The lasagna ah. shaves on Tuesday. Listen, that is not in the code. Get the revised edition, Greg. Oh, yeah. It means contestants in a Russian region that's bigger than the U.S. In 1908, there was a huge, mysterious explosion there. So and Greg, what? newspapers were read at midnight. Hey, you know, I don't have the new code. It's not a code, Greg. Nights in this region were weirdly bright for months after the blast. So bright, you could read a newspaper at midnight without turning on a light. Thanks a lot. And Greg, yeah. the peanuts danced with the pickle. I gotta get that revised code book. Maybe not. Hey, listen. Bam. I'm Greg Lee, and I'm coming to you in black and white and in color. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay, name the region, if you will. Is it Khabarovsk, Siberia, or Kamchatka? Remember the clues that we heard? Russian region bigger than the U.S. Side of huge, mysterious explosion in 1908, and weirdly, bright nights after the blast. Everybody's ready. Stanley, we start with you. What do you say, bud? I said Siberia. Siberia. Ivy? I said Siberia. Same thing, Paul. I said Siberia. Everybody is in agreement, and everybody is right again. Thank you. So that means Stanley goes up to 100, Ivy 90, Paul 85 at me, crime bucks. Now, guys, we heard the Contessa has left Siberia, so let's pick up the chase. <laughs> The chase. Bring back, bring back. <laughs> Thank you. That, that'll be more than enough. Thank you. All these words, five at me. Crime books, hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Contessa hoisted the houses to the Hawkeye State. Na uh, Iowa. Paul. Iowa. Iowa's right. From Iowa, she uh, went them uh, to a barge and barged <laughs> into... Yes, Ivy. Sorry. Thank you for helping me. Yes. Next, Contessa hitched a trailer and headed south across the state line. Ivy. Kansas. Is right. She four-wheeled her wide load to the capital of Missouri. Name it. Uh, Sendley. Um, Jefferson City. Is right. Contessa cleverly hid the houses in the United States. Paul? Cleveland. Sorry, Chicago's the answer we're looking for there. That means Sendley has 105, Ivy 100, Paul 90. At me, crime bucks. Give them all a big round of applause, guys.
All right, everybody, it's time now for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. Take a look right over here, if you will, please, because here is a portion of the world where we think Contessa is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. Everybody's ready for our final clue. We go to Max Weinberg of Acme Springsteen Net. Max. Hi, gumshoes. I spotted Contessa in a city in northwest France. Every year, this town hosts a famous 24-hour auto race. You heard right. Up to 46 cars representing different automakers race all day and all night. They go around an eight and a half mile track as a test of endurance. It's an exciting race to watch. Just bring your pajamas and bring lots of coffee. Thank you, Max. I'll remember that. Okay, guys, uh, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Bremen, Le Mans, or Lyon? Remember the clues that we heard? Northwest France, an annual 24-hour auto race. Once you're ready, lay those answers right down in front of you. Ivy's ready, so is Stanley, and Paul is also ready. Paul, we will start with you. Before you show us your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. What'd you say, buddy? I said Bremen. Sorry, Bremen is not the answer we're looking for. You're going to go down 20. <gasps> and you have the crowd here to sympathize with you. Okay, Ivy, you have 100 Acme Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 30 Crime Bucks. 30 Crime Bucks. What'd you say, Ivy? I said Lamont. Lamont is right. Nice job. Takes you up to 130. Finley, I saw you doing this. It looks pretty good. You're at 105 now. How much did you risk? I risked. I risked 30 Crime Bucks. 30 Crime Bucks. If you're right, you and Ivy are going on to the next round. What'd you say, bud? I said Lamont. Nice job, Stanley. You and I be going on to the next round. Paul, buddy, put her there. Played a nice game. Had some nice detective work there. Chief, what do we have for him? Organization. That's the key to gumshoe success. And I know you'll succeed on your next case because I'm giving you Acme's best organizational tool, the Acme Travel Pack. Inside, you'll find an atlas, the official Carmen T-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic, World Magazine, and our Acme voice identification badge and leave a message wallet. It's our secret weapon in the fight against Carmen and her gang, right? Right. Well, sort of. Sort of. Sort of. I'm not paying you to say sort of. With Greg. Okay, guys, now it's time for us to go Greg. to the war. Oh, yes. You Please take that jacket to the cleaners. That ketchup stain's been on there since last season. Chief, I like it that way. It matches my socks. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, now it's time for us to go to the Loire Valley, which is nearby Le Mans in France. Are you guys ready to go? Suddenly, if you'll grab my hat, if you look at the door, I, of course, have the chief, as always. We're on our way. We're going to France. Follow us. <laughs> a burr under my saddle. Oh, that's no burr, Greg. You sat on a splinter. Well, in that case, fine. Okay, guys, here we are in the Loire Valley, France. You know where to go. I know where to go. The chief knows where to go. Here we go, chief. Gumshoes. There are 15 places here in the Loire Valley where you might find Contessa, the Warrant, or the Natchez Plantation houses. Here's a handful. First, check in with Acme Hot Air Net. Ballooning's a great way to see the villages and vineyards in the picturesque Loire Valley, and it's perfect for airborne reconnaissance. Next, visit Chambord Castle. It's a cozy little getaway with about 400 rooms and 70 staircases. The rent, about a bazillion a month, not including heat and hot water. And since you're in the neighborhood, Chambord Castle is worth a peek. Not enough windows for my taste, but it does have stables out back for your horses or for your little brother. For my money, the loveliest is Chateau de Chenonceau. Marvelous gardens. And it hosted many swinging parties in the mid-1500s. <whistles> Contessa may feel she deserves castles like these, but the place she belongs is the dungeon. Put away that plantation perpetrator. Hey, Chief. You guys know how this works? Loot warrant crooks. Sinley, you had the most crime bucks at the end of the last round. You go first. St. Hubert Chapel. St. Hubert Chapel. Turn it back around. Ivy, go ahead. Hotel Babu. Hotel Babu. 
The plane, the plane. <laughs> we turn it back around. Finally, go ahead. Mushroom Museum. Mushroom Museum. Missing Missing Mississippi Man Mansions. Do you want to hit that one more time for yeah. me? Missing Mississippi Man Mansions. <laughs> That's a hard one. Uh, you have the loot. Go ahead, buddy. Get a free turn. Cher River. Uh, Cher River. The Warren. That one came out very nicely, actually. Loot and the Warren, you need just one more assembly. Can you do it? Joan of Arc statue. Is the Contessa at Joan of Arc statue? Quick, Ethel, take a picture. No, but we will be taking a picture. We turn all three back around. Ivy, your turn. Mushroom Museum. Mushroom Museum. Chicken Fried Estate. Go ahead, Ivy. Share River. Share River. The Warren. <laughs> Let me just Low pop budget. Budget. That's okay. <laughs> Just remember, folks, it's member dollars of yours that keep us on the air every day. Go ahead, Ivy. Vendome Castle. I'm sorry, what was that? Vendome Castle. Uh, Vendome Castle is, no, not there. But we gently turn all three back around. Okay, go ahead, Stanley. Mushroom M Museum. Mushroom Museum. Low budget. <laughs> remember, we could send you guys a tote bag on this ne next one. Go ahead, Stanley. Share River. Share River. Low budget. Okay. Chambord Castle. Uh, the castle. Chambord Castle. Yeah, buddy. You won. I don't know what's going on in the studio. Go do that. Pull on that chain, buddy. Pull on it. Put him in jail. Stay right there, Stanley. Stanley, we'll talk to you just a little bit. First off, great detective work, Ivy. Great job. We got some great stuff for you, Chief. Thanks for your help in sniffing out the bad guy. In recognition of your contributions, I hereby award you an official Acme travel pass. Plus, this world band radio. Now you can get the scoop on what's going on in England, the Netherlands, Russia, anywhere in the world. And to help you find your way, I've included this handy guidebook. Congratulations! Thank you, Chief. All right, buddy, here is your free rain portfolio. Inside there's a piece of paper and a pen. You know what to do, right? Right down where you like to go to catch Carmen San Diego and get the trip. Mm -hmm. Do it right now. Here we go. Do it a trip. We're going to give it to them right here on this show. Low budget as we may be. Found the bread. To put together a trip. We'll be fixing the sign later on. Nice job. Oh, very nice choice. Very nice. Very nice. Put that pen right back up there. We get a phone call right about this time. There it is. Hello. Thank you for your pledge. Would you like to talk to anyone else? He's right here. There you go. Oh, prison life is so uncivilized. 600 cells and not a room service menu in sight. Tell Carmen this is more than I can bear. She went to Africa. Okay, suddenly you and I are after Carmen San Diego. Chief, what can you tell us? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Mauritania. Cote d'Ivoire. Mali. Togo. Equatorial Guinea. Niger. Djibouti, Angola, Tanzania, Malawi, Mozambique, South Africa, Madagascar. Greg, let's go to the map. Feel good. <laughs> All right, Stanley, you know what to do. Yeah, get a marker in your hand there, buddy. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Eight and 45 seconds, you get the trip. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Come with the antenna rebo Madagascar. 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 Let's go. Cheer on, guys. Yeah. Darcelon, Tanzania. Tanzania. Do it, buddy. Do it. Tanzania. Try it again. Try it again. Let's go. Come on back. Come on back. Sakota, Togo. 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 Try it again. Togo. Togo. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come on back. Mali, Bamako, Mali, Mali, Bamako, Mali. Pour it on. Cheer on, guys. No, try it again, buddy. Come on, man. Come on back. Angola, Angola. Luana, Luana, Angola. Try it again, buddy. Try it again. Come on back. Maritania. Outer Maritania. Outer Maritania. Oh. One right in 45 seconds. That's a tough map. Give a big round of applause, you guys. Let's go. It's a tough map, man. It's tough. But hey, you did what we asked you to do. You got the crook today. That's what we wanted you to do. Chief, what do you have for us? We know it's a tough job, but you did find the loot and you did catch the crook. So you deserve a reward. How's this? A new portable TV music system, complete with stereo speakers, a cassette deck, AM, FM radio, and this collection of music from around the world. You made it! 
You're a loot. Congratulations. Put it right there, pal. Nice job, man. Listen, buddy, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do Through the day and night, we sniff out crime. We're busting slime balls all the time. Everybody jump! Put your hand up! Put your hand up! Everybody jump! All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded.